coming me this morning and we've got an Audi A4 in which is having a time belt replacement. As a lot of you may know, we do have to just pull this front end of the vehicle forward. We're going to start removing this plastic trim, T30s up here, remove the both front wheels so we can get to the bolt securing the bumper to the wing. Now we've got the front wheel off. Do you need to just remove the inner splash guard? Because just underneath that corner there, there's a 10 mil right down the back of it that you need to undo. And we'll do that on the other side as well. Now that we've got the vehicle fully raised, I have removed the underguards. Uh, we just need to drain the coolant out now into our lovely little receptacle. Now that we've got the front bumper removed, there is some 16 mils just behind there for the crash panel. And we're just gonna pull this front end down out and we're gonna rest it on some old tires. And there we go, that is the front end, literally just swung down and resting on some tyres, save disturbing all the other hoses, air conditioning and oil coolers and blah blah blah. Let's jump around to getting the timing built off. Now that we've got all the timing covers off, we do need to just time the engine up with the correct tools, and I'll show you how to do it. Now you need to get your timing tool, and it goes into the crank, Make sure it is the right one because it's a round and an oval one. And we've got a pin to go in the camshaft there and a pin to go in the fuel pump up there. And then once we've got the pins in, we can just slacken our pulleys off. And then once we've got all our timing pins in, we can just slacken the pulleys off and get the 15 mil on the tensioner. And as you slacken it off, you might be able to see now all the pulleys turning. You might not, I don't know. There we go. Anyway, let's get this belt off. Now that we've got the timing belt off, you've probably noticed I've removed all the bolts and nuts out of the pulleys because we have got my, well, we all know by now my preferred belt is INA. We've got all new tensioners, idlers, uh, rollers, and we've even got all the new nuts and bolts, including the studs, to put back on that engine. So, who remembers the old Bosel stud extractors? I've still got one, and it's like brand new. Brilliant bit of kit. And of course, we are fitting a brand new water pump at the same time. A little bit of red rubber grease around the o ring so when it slides in, it doesn't pinch it. Now that we've installed all the new pulleys and stuff, we just need to hop onto Autodata and make sure everything is torqued up correctly. Now we've got the belt on, always start with the crank first and then work your way around the pulleys, but make sure that your fuel pump and your camshaft pulley is fully clockwise. So as you put tension on your tensioner now, just have a look, you should see that them camshaft pulleys are slightly ever so, moving ever so slightly. Put some tension on it and torque that sensible. Now we can jump round and torque our fuel pump and our camshaft pulley up. Now that we've torqued everything up correctly, we just need to literally just pull all our timing pins out and we can turn the engine over twice and make sure all the marks line up perfect. Once we're happy with all our timing marks, we can literally just get it put back together. And there we go, that is the car all back together. We have put some nice fresh coolant in it now. All we've got to do is get on the key and give it a big start. And there we go, that is one timing belt replacement on an Audi A4. Uh, I'm going to get the vehicle back up and running now, make sure it's nice and hot, the fans are cutting in, make sure the coolant's topped up correctly. The vehicle is also having a full service as well. So anyway, let's get it 